Hi, welcome to our micro and nano food lab. I'm Chi Chen Chen. I'm Takehiko Kitamori. So right now you are looking at the micro fluid chip. So it's like an integrated circuit for uh, handling fluids. I moved from the University of Tokyo to here to develop the single cell biology and the desktop chemical plant, such kind of the highest applications at NUTHU. So these are the pumps and valves that we use to operate microfluid devices. So one of the projects we are working together with the Lund University in Sweden and the University of Tokyo is to use nanofluids to handle only one cell at a time and to analyze the molecules in nanosized channels. So we can tell different molecules in each one and individual cell for better understanding of cancer and other diseases. We are now inside the clean room. This is where we make our micro and nanofluid devices. We use the electron beam to write really tiny nanoscale patterns and use this etch machine to transfer the pattern to make glass channels. I'm Kyojiro Morikawa. I also joined the group from the University of Tokyo. Now I'm assistant professor of NTH. We have developed micro and nano channel fabrication technologies like this, especially nanofilter to process biological sample, and nanobulb to control very small volume of liquids. These components are indispensable for the success of our single-cell proteomics project. The other project uh, we are going on is a desktop chemical plant, which uses uh, microfluidic devices, so serially and parallelly, like this one. And then we are constructing desktop chemical plant like this way. And then this one is a space saving, energy saving. And uh, in total, we are contributing to the green chemistry and sustainability. This project is a really international university industry collaboration, including the Japanese chemical company Daisel and the University of Tokyo. I'm Katsunori Konishi, an engineer of IMT Taiwan. I'm from Daisel. IMT Taiwan was established in June 2021 as a spin-off startup company from NTHU to contribute to society through the comprehensive microfluidics technology. Current microfluidics is mainly used in accurate and rapid biochemical analysis. IMT Taiwan aims to push the boundaries by integrating microfluidics system for biological and chemical synthesis, where precision and consistency are demanded. In addition, this novel system is up to 90% space saving compared to conventional facilities and helps reduce energy consumption and industrial accidents. Even more surprisingly, it can produce high quality chemical products that cannot be achieved in conventional plants. IMT Taiwan plays a role in this group to develop, design, and manufacture microfluidics desktop plants and aims to realize the social implementation of DTPs. For this aim, we established Daisel Chindar Joint R&D Center. And also, uh, we founded a spin-off company, IMT Taiwan. I am expecting Taiwanese flexibility and diversity to challenge and achieve this real international innovation. We need challengers! Welcome to join us!